everyone, welcome back to the channel with me JP and today we're kicking off a new series on Manor Lords. I'm still pretty new to the game myself, I haven't played many hours of it but let's get into it. I thought it would be fun to share some of the things that I've learned and the mistakes I've made along the way. So in this episode, we'll talk about these mistakes, these key tips that I wish I knew before I started. So let's get into it. Tip number one, specializing your town according to the rich deposits in your region. When I first started, I didn't pay much attention to the resources around me, but it turns out knowing what you have nearby can really help. For example, in my region, take a look here, we've got a rich clay deposit. So I have special Specialize my town for clay furnace, um, making roof tiles from the clay that I get from my mine. Also, an extra tip, if you get this upgrade, the deep mining upgrade, it makes you extract resources indefinitely. So there's no limit to the resources that you get. So just be sure to find out which resource you have a rich deposit in. For example, here in this region, the iron deposit is a rich resource. The mine, it's the clay deposit. Here, the iron deposit as well as the stone deposit. This tip only works with the iron and the clay. Next, let's talk about burgage plots. Initially, I made a bunch of small plots like this. I would make a ton of small plots like this. Don't do this. I learned it's better to have fewer plots with a larger area. This was a game changer for me. As you see, I have a lot of big areas at the back of the house. This affects the output of each house. So for example, this house, I have upgraded it with goats, meaning that they will produce hides which then goes into my tannery, which I need to rebuild because brigands just came through the town. My tannery, which makes clothes. Then all of these other houses can get clothes. Lastly, worker efficiency is crucial. I've had a hard time figuring this out, but putting more workers into each job really boosts productivity. Early on, focus on gathering firewood for fuel and food. Here's how I'm managing my workers right now. So here I've got a logging camp but I only have one worker. This is not efficient at all. But if you go to my clay mine, the clay furnace, it's full. So my clay furnace is working really efficiently. My mine is also very efficient at what it does. So to recap, one, specialize your town according to the resources you have. Two, optimize your burgage plots and maximize worker efficiency, which is number three. These tips have really helped me get a better handle on the game. If you found this video, helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads comment below with any tips tricks questions or concerns that you might have then if you want please join the membership page by clicking the join button if there is no join button you can find the links to youtube membership and patreon both are in the description below with that being said i'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve so if you want your name in the credit roll be sure to join YouTube membership or Patreon by following the links. Credit roll in 3, 2, 1, go! Alrighty then, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!